Yes, viewers, now I have come to demonstrate one important accessories of MS Windows, that is the MS Paint. And this MS Paint is very useful and is very interesting also, very colorful. It's especially the children especially use this to entertain them. And like when they are drawing something or the other, they can draw over here itself without paper. So you can save the paper. You can save the paper. Okay, so let me first of all tell you how to start this MS Paint. Just come over here. This is Windows. You see New Horizon over here. This is a background screen. And over here you come and click on the Start button. And there you find, there you find MS Paint. You can, you can also find in the Accessories group. You can find in the Accessories group over here. Okay, so from here also you can open Paint. Now when you open the Paint, you find that the particular screen is up to here. If you wish, you can extend this. How? See, just I'm coming to this line. Double arrow keys comes over here and I just drag it to the right side so that I get the canvas space. The canvas is over here. I get the scan canvas space. Now, see, over here you'll find various options and on top you find the untitled paint because you have not saved in any name that is untitled paint so if you save that name will come over here like for example if I am drawing any of the shapes from here I click any shape and I drag it over here and if I save this I can go over here and go to save and just click and I can write the name of the file suppose I write the name of the file is uh, screen S C R E E N okay suppose I name it screen now what happens when I write S C R E E N and I go over here to get my desktop. I go here to get my desktop. So I can save this thing screen on the desktop. I have to come here and click on save. See my title, untitled thing has changed to screen over here. Now coming to this one, I have told you about the shape, I have brought the shape and I want to draw another shape with a different color. So I choose the color from here and then I take any of the shapes from here, okay any of the shapes and I drag, see the color changes. I can, I can increase the depth or the outline of the particular color over here the outline is there it can be a solid okay see no outline no outline you can see now nothing can be seen if there is no outline solid border is there see one of the crayon and so on if you just drag and move it over over this hover it over and you will find the particular thing so now I choose this, it's a solid one is over here. I can, if I want, I can also fill. I can fill with the color. Now in order to fill with the color, whatever I want to do, I will come to this tab over here. I must come to the home tab and come over here. See, fill with color is there. So come over here, click on it and come and just fill the color. The color comes in the star. Again if I want to see I will be going to the home tab again. So this shapes part is over. 
color part is over i can edit color from here click on it and i can edit the color see colors comes in and i can add the to the custom color so it will be added now now i come over here if i want to type out something any text i click over here the text is here and i can write over here like i have to increase the fonts so from where to increase the fonts come here you can increase the fonts from here okay you can make it bold you can make it bold and you can underline it you is underline it see how i write s p a r star if i want to write in caps i can use the caps lock key on and i write s t a r star is there star is made now this portion is over if i want to rub a portion i can rub it so let me first draw with the pencil and then try to rub it so i draw with the pencil over here and this drawing i want to rub i use the eraser eraser tool is used to rub okay i can increase the eraser shape or the size by using my control and plus sign see control and plus sign enlarges the eraser once the rubber size increases i can just drag it and rub it out okay so over here this portion is complete pencil tool has been done rubber has been done pick color tool has been done magnifying is not done i am just doing it so text tool has been done fill with color has been done so over here to in order to magnify i have to click the magnifier tool and then which portion i want to magnify suppose i want to magnify this star okay so i click over here or i want to magnify this one so i come and click here that will be magnified only that zone has been selected you see see it has been magnified now after magnification is done now i can come to this one this size okay see resize i have not done so resize i can do i click here and i make 50 percent of the size just see i'll make 50 percent over here i just type out 55 zero okay automatically see this one also comes to 50 so 50 percent has been done and i give okay see back to square one i have come and now and now i come to resize option this option so this has been done okay now i cross this one i come to the rotate option now rotate so which one i have to rotate suppose i want to rotate this portion so i select that portion i select this portion and i come here and rotate that to 90 degree see only this portion is rotated not all the things which one has been selected i go again there and then again i rotate i rotate it to 180 degree see let's come back and if i rotate left 90 or if i go rotate left 90 then it will come back to the original position now the rotation is done resize is done crop tool crop tool is very interesting you see crop if i want to crop something so how do i crop that see for instance i just select this how do i select i go to select option i take this one and i select this like this right now now i want to crop this so i make the selection up to this i want to take this okay and now i am coming over here i am coming over here see it's cropped out again see if i take this side and i crop like this now you are able to understand see it's cropped so the remaining portion has been left cut out so this crop resize rotate has been done complete now now if i want to if i want to 
cut so again I can select like this and I can use my cut option if I want to bring back I use my paste option right so cut paste is done if I want to copy I can copy yes and I can open a new file okay open a new file type out a file name and uh, open I do any of the files okay I open this one again I open like this uh, don't save I do it comes down I open the original file and now I will show you I will copy this one see already see over here what what is going on I have to select first so I click on select I select over here so select okay now I go to the copy option so I am copying this one now I go to the test option see the same portion has come as it is over here so this needs to be rubbed out I can rub out I will take my eraser tool you also know and I'll rub out this so the whole portion has been done the home option is done view is there zoom in is this is becoming bigger zoom out again back 100% is this one and the ruler is on you can make the ruler off again you can bring the you can even bring the grids see grid lines are coming here you can make the grids off this is the status bar so you can switch off the status bar or you can bring back the status bar you can go in the thumbnail or the full screen okay now you are back over here your particular ms paint is complete now you will be able to draw figures but the last of all go over here and go to exit or if you want to print you can print if you want to send this in the mail you can send this in the mail you can even save as in a duplicate file name you can print save in a different file name send as email and if you don't want anything you can exit if you don't want to save write don't save that's it thank you everyone